Hey guys, so I'm back to do another, well I guess this is like, I guess it's a review. Okay, so I wanted to talk about these Chris Christensen brushes. What do you think? He's like, wait, are you recording me? Yeah. <laughs> this is Blackjack, he comes every two weeks. Um, so that's why I thought he'd be a really good candidate because he's super used to this. So we're in the process of drying him right now. Um, I already used the big dryer, but now I'm going to go through and hand fluff him. If you're not a groomer, hand fluffing is just when you take a big dryer like this one and you, it, it just like, uh, kind of lets the air kind of seep out and gives you some warm air and just kind of like the same concept of like when you get your hair blow dried at a salon, that's essentially what I'm doing to him. Like, so I've gotten most of the moisture out. Now I'm just going to go through and straighten it. So... I wanted to talk about why I prefer these brushes over something like this. Now, I don't even own any other of the slicker brushes with this kind of teeth after buying these. I used to have a bunch of them, but I actually threw them all away <laughs> to give you an idea. And that's why I really wanted to talk about this because I'm like, these are $60. I see a lot of groomers on the fence about them. And I understand that $60 is a lot for a brush, for a brush. I mean, $60, are you kidding me? But, um, so these are like $5, right? But let me show you the difference. I'm gonna prop this. Oh, sorry y'all. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this on. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. Okay. So we'll just work on his tail a little bit. So, you know, since he's like already brushed out or whatever, like these are gonna do the job. But first of all, it's already starting to kind of scratch my hand up a little bit, which is kind of surprising because I, I do use the one with the little ball tips, which are supposed to help with that. Um, but okay, let's work on the leg so you can really see. See how curly? And then, you know, this is gonna, like the teeth are only so long. Let's, before we get too into that. Um, so you can kind of see, like, you see these are like really short compared to like this, like this is gonna get all the hair. This is gonna like brush the top layer. This is what a lot of clients have. They have something similar to this. So they're like, I'm brushing. Well, you're only brushing the top layer. So that's why you're still getting matting closer to the skin. This, they have the longer teeth, so it can get down to the skin. Another plus over these, over um, other slickers like this, they, are soft these teeth are soft like I can scrape this on my own skin and it doesn't hurt and that's that's how I brush the dogs you guys like I don't like manhandle them because you can brush burn with these brushes if you really try um you can I mean technically you could brush burn with the toothbrush if you wanted to you know what I mean like it's all in how you use it so I just pretend like I'm brushing like a little baby's hair because I am brushing a little baby's hair this is a little baby he's only like two years old you guys this is a baby so um, I just lightly will brush and I'm trying to focus mainly on the hair, less on the skin. But again, when you're using something like this, you're really only brushing the top layer. So yeah, it might look okay, but what's going on underneath? So this is really, really good with dematting. So let me just show you. I'll turn this back on. And you want to make sure your dryer has warm air too. That's really going to help you get, get it straight. But make sure you're not burning your dog. Um, this isn't going to get that hot. But I would imagine if I left it on one spot all day, yeah, it might be uncomfortable after so long. If anything, they might get overheated. Of course, Blackjack is not going to really have a lot of matting on him because I literally groom him every two weeks like clockwork. So the likelihood of him having matting is zero to none. But let me see, he usually chews on his back end. So let me see if I can find a mat for you guys. So I really want to show you how easily this will just brush them out. So I don't know if you can tell, there are a couple little mats right here. But this is nothing I'm going to have to pull out a mat splitter for. And it's because of this brush. I mean, this really changes the game on what needs to be physically like, dematted with like a dematting rig and what you can just brush out. This can brush out a lot more than you would guess, you guys. It is, for me, it's definitely been worth the money. Um, I purchased these about a year ago. Actually, you know what, it's probably been more than a year. 
I have had to replace my big one, but they did send me a new one for free. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, if you've if you've been paying attention to these brushes, you've probably seen a lot of times the handle will separate from the actual brush. That's what happened to mine. I actually glued it back, so now I have two. And they sent me this one for me. No questions asked, you guys. It was great. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really changes the game. Like, you know, and I'll use this. Say, um... Okay, say that, you know, I'm combing and there's like a tangle that, you know, my comb won't go through. I just whip out this, sit there and brush on it for a second. Then usually I can comb no problem. I'll show you guys. It's so my new fancy schmancy finishing comb by Chris Christensen. So you can see he just brushes right out. And he'll brush out even better after I actually go through all of this. But, um, because <laughs> I just started drying him, I literally just did his head and now I've got to, um, dry the rest of his body. But I just really wanted to show you, like, there's just, it, to me, this is worth the money. Um, I do, Chris Christensen, if you ever watch this video, what is going on, you guys? Um, there, there's just, uh, so many people I am seeing that are having this break and mine broke too. And I'm pretty gentle with my brushes, you guys. And mine actually broke on my own dog. I was grooming my own dog and my brush broke. It separated and um, actually my stepdad fin uh, fixed it right before he died. So now I have a special brush. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to show you the difference because like I said, these, a lot of times they're going to be what your clients have. They're only going to brush the outside layer, you guys. They're not, their teeth are not as long as my dog's hair right now. <laughs> he probably has a good, like, at least a good inch of hair has to be. So using something like this is so much better. Um, if you can, try it out. If you know another groomer, and I've actually, um, if you have these brushes, you guys, try to share them with your groomer friends that haven't tried them. Because I actually, um let my friend borrow my extra one and she fell in love she had to buy one she i mean it's life-changing you will not want to use another brush like i said i threw all my other brushes away when i got these um they are really just great i really i really wish he had a mat on him okay can you kind of see like his tail right here just from where he wags it and he always chews on his butt um so it, it gets a little matted right here let's see if i can show you I wonder if I can change the lighting a little bit. All right, ready? Get the small one. Make sure your warm air is on. And using the right products is gonna make a world of difference to you. While I'm at it, this ultra dematting and uh, de ultra detangle and dematting spray by Hydra. This stuff is so good. It's like a finishing spray, so you can use it like while you're scissoring or whatever. But it really does like give the hair a good amount of slide, so that all the mats will just come right out. Um, I very rarely have to actually pull out the dematting break at this point. Most of the time, I can do everything with just this brush and my dematting spray. Also using good conditioners and stuff will make a difference too. And some of you may be like, uh, why would you use a conditioner on a dog like this? Well, when you're shampooing, you're stripping all the oil out of their hair. And you're like, well, I wanna do that. They're greasy, I need to do that. Well, the way the skin works is that once you strip that oil out, the skin's now like, I'm too dry. So guess what? It produces more oil. So when you're stripping all those oils out, you're basically teaching their oil glands to produce even more oil to compensate for the lack of oil. So that's something to keep in mind. Even if you're not using like an actual conditioner, using good leave-ins like this is going to make a big difference. Um, and this one, uh, like I said, you can spray, I do it on wet and dry hair. Um, 
and it really it also adds some shine there's this is one it doesn't really have like any actual like oils or like it's kind of one of those like that if you read it it's just got all the big words and you're like what does that mean yeah we'll go into that one day um I'm trying to see what I, what is even oh I wonder if the there's like there's a couple different things in here I wonder I need to actually look into these ingredients and see what actually it is I'm so surprised they don't use a ton of oils or anything in their stuff maybe that's a good thing so maybe that's good to know um this isn't really heavy and even on a coat like this it really doesn't weigh it down but anyway I just really wanted to talk about these brushes I was thinking about it this morning because uh, I saw this one groomer I follow that she made, um, she makes those TikTok videos. She's hilarious. Her name, I believe it's Jenna Lisa, like J-E-N-N-U-H-L-I-S-A. She is hilarious. And she was making a video and it was like basically her like being like, I want it. But then she puts it back and like she's like putting it in her car and then she takes it out of her car and, you know, goes back and forth. And um, it, it just got me thinking. I was like, you know what? I really need to talk about this brush because it really is great. And you see, like, this is a Poodle Bichon, but it does get, like, the tiniest bit of undercoat out, too. You see that there's, like, a little bit of fur in there. Um, and usually those are, like, little tangles. When I brush it, usually some dead hair will come out, and it comes out right in my brush. Um, and I promise you, like, if you're at a grooming show or something, just feel it. I mean, my first impression of these brushes, I was like, wow, these teeth are soft. Like, you know, they look scary when you're looking at them. You're like, God, those things are huge. You could hurt somebody with that brush. And like I said, you could hurt somebody with a toothbrush if you wanted to. It's all on how you're doing it. And if you're like really scraping down, then yeah, you're gonna hurt their skin. But if you just do it lightly, you're not going to. Um, and these softer bristles will help you to not brush burn dogs. So yeah, anyway, I just wanna do a quick review about these Christian Chris Christensen brushes while I was thinking about it, but um, yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. I use both of them. I wouldn't say get one over the other. Maybe if you just do like doodles or something, you could get away with like just the big one. But even for like blackjack, I like to use both. I'll use the little one for his legs and stuff. And then when I get to his back, I'll do the big one. Um, so that's just my recommendation. And I think he even has like a smaller one. I kind of want it. I might have to look into that. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. I think it's worth the $60. Might even be worth if you're kind of on the fence, like reaching out to Chris Christensen and asking them and being like, hey, if I really hate these brushes, do I have a return period or am I stuck with it? And if that's the case, if you are gonna be stuck with it, like I said, reach out to other groomers in your area that might have one that might let you borrow it and just use it for a day or two. For me, the first dog I used it on, I was like, mm hmm sold. And it was almost like one of those things like you're like, dang it, now I'm like committed to these $60 brushes. But again, they're so worth it to me. Um, I've been really, really enjoying them. But yeah, I just wanted to make a little review for you guys while I was thinking about it. But yeah, thank you for watching.